DOC, and I got to get, I quote, the DOC came to him before he left to go to California. To I sign. can't tell you one DOC song. Formula? Nigga, you young. You don't know Formula? High energy, full with the wisdom, sense of a rich man, knowledge and the rhythm. That's what I'm saying. Dallas don't get behind their rappers. They should. They should. They still should be playing it. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. We was in Houston, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you something. Houston play Houston music on the radio continuously all day. They do. And Dallas Rogers. plays other people all day. Rogers. Uh, Did you hear what I just said? I know. I know. I showed my wife. I was like, they play. They play everything. You probably be like, what the fuck is that? They, I was like, dang, they, they jamming all, the, all this music. So let me ask you this, because I had asked uh, Lil Kiki. Man, that, we love Dallas. It's, I think this, um, the way we do music is different from them because we, like we say, we came from the screw tape era. And just to be honest, our screw tapes didn't go that way mm -hmm. as hard as they. I tell people this all the time. Dallas is a very big market. And their market is more up. If you notice, and I would love for them, a lot of Dallas artists don't do a lot of shows here. Mm -hmm. uh, Austin, but right? they go they up. Go. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma, Arkansas, that way, which is great. Because to be honest, when you're trying to get a deal, you need to break the but Dallas market a little bit faster than you break it. The deal, the the majors love the Dallas market. It's just that I, I think we had more in based on the screw tape era, we had more individual. Legend. It's more of a legend city. You know what I'm saying? Of all these different and and our our um our fan base really follow us very very hard. You know what I'm saying? I don't from a standpoint. I don't know if Dallas fan base followed the Dallas artists as hard as the Houston fan base mm -hmm. followed the Houston artists. So we don't have a Dallas Houston thing. You know what I'm saying? I was in Dallas last week. I loved that. I uh, and I asked ESG too. ESG said the reason that. Houston went before Dallas and keep cause they found they sound. He said, but Dallas, the different people, he talking about the Quint Black Days, the all the different rappers out the Lucci Pookie, all of them sounded different. Then like Houston, they all kind of sounded the same. It's kinda how he explained it to me. But we had already identified our sound. That's what it is. That's a difference. Yes. You feel what I'm yes. saying? Yes. So you think if you go from Nemesis, then you go from Quint Black, you go from, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Yes. You keep naming. Different type. None of them sound alike. That's None right. None of them sound alike. So there's no certain sound. Now, Dallas has always been a big media city, though. You feel a what consumer. I'm saying? Right. But yes. media, it takes everybody to come to see yeah. Dallas. Oh, yeah. Now, once like my Dougie came out and different things, Dallas started identifying a certain sound. You feel what I'm saying? Is that what you think? Uh, you see what I'm saying? What makes what makes Houston develop so much faster and so much more than a than a Dallas when it come down to our foundation? Uh, uh, they got bosses in charge. Okay. If I get into it one thing, I can go. I can go with the, another boss out there, and everything be good. We go squash that shit. We put that shit. In, we, go, we go squash that shit right here in Dallas. The young, the rappers is the bosses. Ain't no more dope dealers than rappers. That makes I mean, a lot of sense. The, the, the rappers are bigger than dope dealers. The rappers are bigger than dope dealers. Mm -hmm. I agree with that because the entrepreneurship took over. All the dope, dope, all the dope dealers in, in Dallas want to be rappers. Or sell dogs. Or sell dogs. Me and Bobo was talking. I got to ask you this question, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> I got to ask you this hey, question. you ever met a dope dealer, old nigga that want to be a rapper? That's what I'm going to ask you. <laughs> Who, if... if who do you think in your eyes don't put Mo three in this? Uh -huh. Without Mo three, uh -huh. who should have been the biggest rapper to ever come out of Dallas? Young Black. Young Black. Boy, he had yeah, he had Dallas a lot. What happened? Why didn't he become that? They dropped the ball. How did they drop the ball? Uh, it just the people. He just dropped the ball. <laughs> Do you, do, uh, young black, young black would be, and young black had five songs, and his attitude too. I can't lie, that motherfucker there was a cocky motherfucker. I, I booked the verse for him. I booked the verse for him uh, with a uh, nigga. I book, I forgot the nigga name. Uh, and uh, young black told him, uh, "Hey, hey, bring the money, bring our twenties." <laughs> Told the nigga break out to Did he? Black was a cocky motherfucker back in the day. 
That's the thing, man. Yeah. You, you, you like, like, cause people make these statements. You know, uh, some people say that, uh, uh, you know, my partner Bobo say Snake did a lot for the city when he was doing the music. This was a long time ago. The, when, the uh, engineer. Yeah, yeah. For for the music said that uh, DOC and I, I got to get. I quote: the DOC came to him before he left to go to California. To I sign. can't tell you one DOC song. Formula, nigga, you young. You don't know formula. High energy, full with the wisdom, sense of a rich man, knowledge and the rhythm. This is what I'm using to come up with a style. That's what I'm saying. Dallas don't get behind their rappers. They should. They should. They still should be playing it. They don't say. They don't play it on the radio. That was a big. If song. you go to Houston, they go play. They playing Beyonce old stuff. They Beyonce, playing all the yeah, old Kiki folks. old stuff. The South old side. music. They playing. It. I can't tell you one one DLC song. But they, why they don't play it though, right? I don't know. We need. That's why I'm trying to figure out. We need to. Everybody need to collective understand. They should be playing DSR every now and then. They should be playing DSR. They should be playing. Looching them every now and then, they should be squeezing. They should squeeze all that shit in there. Where people say they them niggas jamming. You know you right. They don't. They don't do it because they don't because they they nobody. You know, like this, all rappers and collective and all people that's in charge of care about themselves and their own artists. But sometimes people be thinking I be caring about what I got going on. But I try to speak for the whole Dallas because I need them to get back high. Man, if I get Dallas back back high, I'm gonna be booking niggas thirty forty thousand dollars a show. Talent that my mother had born the heart equals an artist I won't be worn. What is that, Dre? It's the formula.